Yeah, so are you glad that I don't use Discord anymore? Yes or no? Type in the comments below. If you say yes, then if you're happy about it. And it's a good thing, maybe. If you say no, then you miss me and you want me back on there. Guys, we're on good and all that. And safety. I'm going to stay off of Discord. The same. Because the way the world is, the way the internet is, you never know these days. You know, there's always someone trying to create fake accounts and create fake things and do all these things and edit it to make it look to make it look bad on me, even though it's not. See, guys, this is like a way of the devil trying to use them to get rid of me. But instead, because of God, I'm still here today. So thank the Lord, I'm still here. And mercy, grace, forgiveness, and love of God. And power of him, I'm still here. So all the glory and the credit, or give credit where credit is due, goes to God. Not me. I'm not just here because of me. You're not just here because of you. Or the devil. We're all here because God allows it. And God's still here. So whether anybody likes it or not, you're still here, I'm still here. And because of the grace and mercy of God and forgiveness and love that God has for all of us, the haters and the trolls are still here too, but they can repent from that and change and turn to Christ and become followers of Christ. Of the, and when you come followers of Christ, it's not just Christ that you follow, but you also follow God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. The Holy Trinity is just three in one. Just remember that. And you might ask in the comments, what does this have to do with Discord? Well, because man can be manifested, can be deceived and used by the devil. To try to get rid of somebody or something. Even though it's not works of man, it's works of the devil. So anybody, next time when you call names and you judge, you're judge, you being judgmental, put someone down. You're not using your platform or you're not putting, you're saying the words of God. You are saying the words of the devil. The devil is the wicked one. And the reason why for this, guys, if you read the book of Genesis in the Bible in the Old Testament, it says that Adam gave the world to the devil. Not literally gave it to him. But handed it to him because of sin. Because Adam and Eve messed it up for everybody else. So that's why Adam and Eve ate the fruit of the tree that God told them not to do it. And God told them not to do it for their own good, for their safety. And they say, better to be safe than sorry. Well, in this case, it was the opposite. They would be sorry than to be safe. Because of the sin. See, guys, sin is what got... The devil and demons kicked out of the Garden of Eden. Adam, I mean, I'm sorry. Sin is what got the devil kicked out of the, and demons. One third of the angels, which are known as fallen angels, got kicked out of heaven. And Adam and Eve, sin is what got them kicked out of the Garden of Eden. Sin is what gets you homeless if you don't follow the rules in your parents' house or your, your friend's house or your roommates or whatever. You don't follow the rules, you get kicked out. Work. You don't follow the rules, you can lose your job, school, wherever you're at. If you don't follow the rules, because there's rules everywhere you go, and laws, you get kicked out, or you go to jail if you don't follow the rules, or you go to hell, based off the life, you know, that you live. Because when you pass away, you go to heaven or you go to hell, based off the life that you live on this earth. You guys got to listen, think, listen, think about it, and listen to what I'm saying. Read the Bible, guys.